next chapter, Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. That's how two little birds came to be adopted by an oak tree. She looked after them as a real mother would. The two little foundlings grew up without needing their real parents' care. The oak tree was proud of the new family she had created. They all loved each other very much. They played from morning to evening, and the woods rang with their merry laughter. Now off you go. So your birds have gone off to seek their fortune. I guess so. They're grown up now. Yep. I remember when they were still just two little chicks. They've sucked out all your sap. I know, 
son. It's sad, but I don't know what more I can do. There must be a medicine that will cure her. It's a difficult prognosis. When the parasites attack like that, it takes a miracle to stop them. Does that mean that there's no solution and she'll die? Huh? Never say die, son. Where there's a will, there's a way. Do you really think so? Well, you can't just give up like that. Dr. Woodpecker is right. There must be someone able to help Mother Oak. Therefore, let's not despair, brother. All we have to do is look for him. I am sure we'll find him. We'll ask everyone we meet if they know of such a wise person. There's a wise old turtle that lives in the ocean, but it'll be difficult to find her. Very difficult. You must say that, Mother Oak. We'll find her. We won't give up until you better. We'll find the medicine. Come on, let's go. Hurry. Be careful, little darlings. Be careful. The road that leads to the ocean is longer than you think and may be full of danger. Don't worry. Dear, those parasites are at it again. Mother is a tree? But it's true. We're adopted. Mother Oak has always been kind to us, and now she's going Wait. to die. Even though I'm not old, I do know just the medicine to heal your mother. Oh, really? What is it? It comes from a strange, beautiful flower. You have to get its pollen at dawn and give it to your mother. Hooray! Hooray! We've done it! <laughs> But where can we find it? It grows on a glacier on the slopes of the highest of those mountains over there. As far away as that?
dirty? Hmm. Why are you building a nest so far from Mother Oak? <gasps> You should be out there looking for your mother's medicine with your brother. I know, but a terrible thunderstorm broke up and there was lightning. I survived, but my brother didn't. Look what's left of him, just this feather. I'm sorry, boy, but that's not a good enough reason to give up looking for your mother's medicine. She looked forward to seeing both of you come back, so it's up to you now to continue searching to honor your brother's memory. I couldn't care less about my brother or that stupid medicine. He doesn't love me. He's never loved anyone. friend faints, overcome by fatigue, hunger, and disappointment. And he dreams of a wonderful world full of flowers and fruit and pleasant sunshine, where he lives happily together with his brother and their friends. But soon he wakes up to reality. He has to face the snow and the cold mountain wind as his search goes on to find the pollen that will save Mother Oak. to melt in spring. Oh no, I can't wait until spring. My mother will be dead by then. <laughs> no, don't cry, don't despair. The snowstorms are less violent lately and perhaps everything will be all right if the sun's rays warm me up. I feel ready to blossom, but I'm worried for my roots. The earth is so cold and I'm afraid they might freeze. Our little bird's memory takes him back in time to when Mother Oak found him and his brother and looked after them lovingly. He remembers how happy he was in the woods and then sadly he recalls how weak Mother Oak has become. The memory of his sick foster mother gives him renewed strength and courage. He is determined to achieve his goal at all costs. There! My feathers will warm your roots so that they won't freeze even if more snow falls. If 
I don't find the flower here. I don't know where to look for it anymore. <gasps> here it is! Oh! Little Birdie is alive, and he's made it! collecting the tears of a flower, and, and I wanted... He did it! I can't believe it. He must have very strong willpower. Look at this. Look at how much he collected. The other birdie thinks he's lost his brother and doesn't want to go back to Mother Oak. Well, I guess he's frightened and upset. I'll go and fetch him. Mother Oak is drinking the medicine right now. Now cheer up and come along. I'll take you back to your family. You'll see. She'll get better soon. Drink some more. Just a little bit, Mother Oak. It'll work wonders. Thank you. It works. It works. The medicine works. Look, Mother Oak's coming back to life! Hooray! Hooray! Mother, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. I'm here. You're better. Oh, you're better! <laughs> thank you. Thank you, my little one. Don't cry, Mother. Oh, don't cry. Just in time. Mother, mother, look. Brother's coming along with the turtle. We're all together again. The whole family's united again. Brother, brother, brother. <gasps> Son. Brother, you should be happy. Well, I must say your little ones have been through a lot, Mother Oak. But in the end, they came out on top, yes. I think they'll remember this experience for the rest of their lives. But perhaps they ought to tell Mother Oak exactly what happened. Tell me, darling. Tell me what happened to you and your brother. While we were looking for the flower, the terrible thunderstorm split us up. So we continued our search alone. It's only by sheer luck that I found the flower first. It's not true! It's not true! <laughs> Listen, Mother Oak, I'm a selfish coward, and I also gave up looking for the flower. <laughs> it's thanks to him if you're alive. Don't cry. By owning up, you'll become as courageous as... Sorry, little brother. Sorry. Mother Oak and her little birds lived happily ever after. And the wayward one learned a very important lesson. Never give up when you think you've lost, for there's always a solution to everything in life. The Woodpecker How is the woodpecker classified in the animal kingdom? The woodpecker is a bird belonging to the Pisciformes order and to the Piscidae family. It has a long body, a strong beak, a long tongue, usually with a barbed, horny tip, and toes with sharp, half-moon-shaped nails, which it uses as hooks to cling to tree trunks. How many species are there, and where do they live? There are 209 species in the Pisidae family, and they're found all over the world, except in Australia and Madagascar. 
how do they live? Apart from rare exceptions, woodpeckers are solitary, unsocial birds. With the exception of the mating season, each woodpecker has its own territory which it defends vigorously with its beak. How do they move? Woodpeckers have perfected an excellent technique for climbing up and down tree trunks and are not at home on the ground, where they hop rather clumsily. They fly short distances in an undulating flight pattern. What do they eat? Mainly insects, which they find under the bark or in the wood of trees, but they also like berries and seeds, especially those of conifers. How do they protect themselves? The woodpecker's best defense against its predators, mainly birds of prey and martins, is to remain immobile on a tree trunk, blending into the color of the bark. How do they relate to people? Quite well, since it's now been established that woodpeckers usually eat insects that damage trees. Can they live in the city? In large public parks, it's not unusual to hear the typical drumming sound of a woodpecker boring holes in a tree trunk. Well, have you all learned the lesson? <laughs> and the moral of the story is we must always do everything we can to help each other. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>